Good evening, I'm Kevin Holmes. Jennifer has the night off. The other big story we're following today, hundreds came out to honor two high school students killed in a car wreck this morning. 18-year-old Corey Rocha and 17-year-old Cesar Herrera. They were killed when the car they were riding in crashed this morning. Two other teens were airlifted to the hospital. This crash happened early this morning on Dillon Road near Highway 278. The car ran off the road, struck another vehicle in the oncoming lane before hitting a tree. Tonight, Hilton Head High School held a vigil for the students. Larry Spurl was there. He joins us now with the latest. Larry? That's right, Kevin. I'm here live on Hilton Head Island off of Dillon Road, the same place where two Hilton Head High School students died in a car crash this morning. Also, this spot right here is just feet away from this memorial right over here. Now, I first told you about this spot during our 6 o'clock newscast, but then it was just about one or two roses. Now it has grown to this. You see candles light lit. You see roses right over here. Also, this sign, it says, rest in peace to those two students that died this morning. Tonight our hearts are heavy and our minds are arrayed about the many unknowns of today's situation. Tears, hugs, and prayers filled the Hilton Head Gym Friday night as family and friends remembered the lives of Corey Roca and Cesar Herrera. They died in a car crash Friday morning here on Dillon Road. This same spot is now decorated with flowers in memory of the two. Jamie Powell saw the accident firsthand. The car was actually sitting right there by the tree. And uh, I could actually see the two bodies under, um, there was, you know, they had wrapped up a little bit later on in the day as I found out who it was. At the vigil, hundreds of students wrote their own messages to both Corey and Caesar. And even though they are gone, many students say they are not forgotten. He was always, if he wasn't, you know, he was always talking, always hanging out with somebody. And if he wasn't, he'd, he kind of took to himself and wasn't a real, you know, out there kind of kid, but a good kid. But now they are just resting in that big Seahawks nest in the sky. And it was just kind of a big shock that there's, you know, more friends of mine that, that I won't be able to see again, you know. Now, since our 10 o'clock newscast, a lot of family and friends came out and talked to, talked to me right here at this memorial site. They even engraved, if you can look, take a look right there, it says, rest in peace in the tree bark. They say both, both Corey and, and the other one, they played soccer, and they were very good at soccer. And so they were, one of them even got a scholarship to a college. Corey actually came back here to Hilton Head to graduate with his class. But unfortunately, now he will not be able to do that. But for now, reporting here live on Hilton Head Island, I'm Larry Spurrow, WJCL News, working for you. Now, thoughts and prayers are certainly with all the loved ones. Thanks, Larry.